Let's go, you guys. Welcome back to another episode of Nani Games here. And today we are playing Dead Frontier 2. And the moment that we all have been waiting for was open world news. And it's finally here, you guys. Today is March 8th, 2020. Admin just recently released this new hot, hot update. So for all my Dead Frontier fans out there, you cannot miss this, all right? This is probably one of the biggest update that he's ever done to this game. Let's just hurry up and try to get into it. I'm I'm not going to read all of this, so I definitely will pause it and just let you guys read it. Um, it just talks about, um, I believe, I'm pretty sure, all the update that he's been doing for today. And yeah, I mean, I haven't logged into this for a while now, so... I probably will read it on my own time, and if you guys want, you guys can read it too by yourself, pause it, or simply just play the game and just read the update. So, um, really cool stuff, you guys. Uh, I, I'm here for more about the gameplay, and I want to show you guys the graphics and just how cool this game is, okay? I'm no expert at this. I'm not here to, you know, show you hints and tips and tricks and whatever, which I, which I could, but yeah, you know, less talking, more playing, and I will see you guys out in the inner city booyah whoop, whoop. we are in boys all right so again this is my character and yeah this is me this is nani let's play <laughs> ah, i'm so excited we are in dalbo boys we are in look at that the game once again, the game is, is, the graphics, it's, it's a free to play game, you guys. Please support this. This game is, you, if you like zombies and the third person kind of feel to it, then this is, this is it. You, you can't get any better than this. Oh gosh, I forgot how to play. He definitely changed all of this up. This is amazing. Oh man, this is so cool. All right, so this video might be pretty long, so. I, I warn you guys. So there's still a loading screen when you enter a building, which is fine for me. I don't really care, but all right. Okay, still still loading screen too. How's the looting? Looting is probably the same. Okay. Yep. Looting is still the same. So building wise is still the same too. What what changed is the out uh, the open world, which. I don't, I don't I don't use 12 gauge 20 gauge right oh, ammo type ammo type ammo type ammo type where's it 12 gauge okay never mind <laughs> see you guys it's been a while since I played this but this this is definitely a, a gonna be a long video because obviously there's gonna be a lot to explore a lot to show you guys um, I wish I could make this a little bit brighter oh. okay I wish I could probably make this just a little bit brighter oh actually it's just as bright as it gets so that's one thing hopefully we can look forward to in the future is daylight please admin daylight and I don't really care about seasons or weather or whatever you want to call it I don't really care for that I just want to see daylight and hopefully that can be implemented into the game in the future so here you guys go, you guys, open world, pretty cool stuff. Ah! Oh, yep, I have not played this in a while. So, if you press M, here's the whole map. Where am I, though? Is that me? Yes, that's me, that little arrow. <laughs> that, little, that, little, that little point right there is me. And this is the, the whole entire map, and admin said that this is the whole PvP zone area, which... That's a really big area for PvP, to be honest. That's a really big map. Okay, these guys are annoying. So, the map, that's, uh, maybe admin, maybe you can make this just a little bit smaller, maybe, like, in a corner or something? I don't, I don't know, I don't really care for PvP, and as you guys can see, these yellow ones are the outpost. Which is really cool. And now all of these are connected now. All of these. Huh? It's like a big giant square. Oh, so you're telling me I can just walk to West Model. 
And as you guys can see, nothing's changed. The levels are still there. PvP zone. Yep. Level 10 PvP area. Okay. Okay. Level 1. So I don't know. Like I said, I haven't played this game in a while. I don't know if... Um, if... The, uh, the different outposts still change levels. So... Yeah, I don't know. But here's the so here's the open world. Sweet stuff, man. Good job, Anman. Good job. Now, one thing I want to test out is if I'm walking all the way here to level ten area to twenty thirty, I want to see the zombie change. So no lag so far, which is really cool. Uh, you know what? We we could we got a lot of exploring to do, you guys. Like a lot. So if I do a lot of cutting, it's only because I don't want to just show myself walking and talking. So let's just hurry up and try to get to the core areas. And let's see. If we he said that there's a new building called the mansion. The mansion. Oh yeah, that's right. In the picture, he did show there was a picture that looked like the mansion. Yeah, there's a mansion, a new, a new, now entering West Model. There you go. Really cool. All right. That's interesting. That's awesome, dude. Admin, good job, man. And like, he, like, you know, you guys got to understand that this is, uh, he's basically a one-man team. This is going to take a while. There's going to be a lot of bugs. Um, I would try my best to point them out. Um, so far, so good. A uh, slight, a little slight lag. Uh, a little, uh, not not any, not even a little lag. W like when the buildings are and everything is loading, I could still I could feel a little, a little, little thump on the road. Look at that. Okay, so we oh look at that. You can go into the forest, or not forest, but trash can. Oh oh cool. Look at that tree stumps. Never thought I'd be so excited to see rocks and trees. <laughs> Ooh, look at that graveyard. Hey. Spooky stuff, man. Can you imagine just seeing a boss? A a, a giant scary looking boss just in the graveyard. <laughs> That's right. I cannot walk too much because I, I will get hungry. Where am I going now? Oh, I'm like just going totally out of the map now. I'm not even in the map anymore, you guys. Look, look at that. I'm right here. So, what happens if I just keep going? Will it will it give me like a warning warning sign saying, "Hey, you're going out of the map. Please head back." Not quite sure. Let's see. This is why we're here, right? We're here to find out what happens and report to admin. <clears throat> Willy gloves. Nope. That's a nice stump. I can climb on the rock. Nope. <laughs> so, does it like just keep going? Oh yeah, I'm totally out. I'm totally out of the map. Oh, okay. So, oh, you know what? I am wrong. Okay, I'm definitely wrong. So, if you hit the wall, this is the, this is the whole entire map. What are these gray areas? These little areas here. I wonder if that's that's a. You see that? There's like little dots on here. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe secret buildings, which probably not. But so I was wrong. This is the whole entire map, not just this little square. Okay. So don't get that confused, which I did. Noob. All right. So. Oh, look at the house. It's a creepy little house. Ooh, hood household. Is there trap music in here? Is this a trap house? Hood house hold. Mm, creepy. Ooh, it has creepy music. Fuel, I don't need fuel. That's for sure. I need a big key. Why is it so freaking dark in here? I swear my my brightness is like at max. Is it because of the out out world? 
Maybe? I don't, I don't know, but it's, it's, it's freaking dark in here. It's really, really dark. Like, you guys, look. My brightness is, like, at max. It, it's, it's really, really dark. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Just because it's, it's really dark, and... Like, even for, on my screen... Right now, I, I could barely see anything. I mean, I could definitely edit this later and definitely brighten it up. But still, it's like, holy cow, dude. So, yeah. So, this is a random household. I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure there's nothing in Oh, I, I already been in there. I already, I already know that this is... Look, this is just going to be a boss. I don't know what kind of boss, but... Yeah, see, that's, that's just a mini boss, which I don't really need to bother. I don't really... I don't want to waste ammo on it. I mean, it's... But yeah, I mean, it'd be nice, Admin. Just shine a little more light upon us. <laughs> just because I like to see the, the the details. Look, another house. Now entering Haverbrook. Okay, cool. I I love that he, it's, it tells you that you're entering a different city. Right? City? Yeah. Or... or place I don't know yeah. that's really cool awesome stuff man another house creepy house I mean uh, if I find something good or something to talk about I would definitely bring it up to your guys' attention when I do find maybe hopefully I can find a mansion who knows or maybe he he didn't put the new bosses in here yet so definitely cannot oh look at look speak of it there's a rhino! <gasps> That's the mansion! <gasps> we found a mansion! We found a freaking mansion, you guys. Look. Wait. I think, right? I think that's the mansion. What is this? Ooh. Co Wait, what is it? Cochran Mansion? Cochran Mansion? Look at that. Creepy mansion. Do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. But look at that! This is a big mansion! We finally, we just, we found it. Boop, I fell off. Hey, we found the mansion. Speak of it, eh? Look at that. I wonder what's in here. Probably, it's probably really huge, so. I'm pretty sure. I wonder what's in here. So, I'm pretty sure it's it's a big mansion. Lots of things to explore. So, I'm pretty sure it's going to take, like, five averages to explore this area. I thought he died. Alright, well, this is the mansion. I mean, I don't think there's anything new in here, is it? I wonder if there's only one mansion. Water, water everywhere, even in the air. So, one thing I would kind of have to say is... This kind of doesn't look like a mansion. It just looks like a, a lot of things just kind of bunched up into this kind of big quote quote mansion. I, I wish it kind of would look more like a mansion than just everything cluttered into one big huge building. So right now you guys, I'm just exploring the mansion. Been in here, right? Yep. Exploring the mansion and see how big it is. Oh, that's it. That's it. So that was the mansion. Hey. Cool. Okay. Not too bad. There you guys have it. That was the mansion. So okay. All right. So that was the mansion. There you guys. Creepy, cool-looking mansion. Uh, not too. I mean. There wasn't really anything too crazy about it. But that was the mansion. And now here's the playground. We are here on the playground. Can I walk on there? No, can't walk on there. Oh, the light just changed. That's weird. There's a bike. Swing set. And... What is that? Is that another mansion? That is another mansion. Oh! 
Interesting. Small mansion. So there's a big mansion and a small mansion? Is this a well? I don't know what that is. But oh, okay. So there's multiple mansions. Not just the one that I... What the heck? Well, I couldn't get on there. Small mansion. So, so this is more based off of... He said that there's a new building type, which are mansions. Which, I don't think there's anything too crazy about it, but if you want to explore mansions, then feel free to explore mansions. <laughs> so, that's pretty cool. Not too bad. Yeah, mansions are just like any other building. It's all just one big block of different furnitures and walls just collide into one big area, which is pretty cool, but kind of wish it was more of a like mansion kind of vibe to it you know what I mean like a you know how mansions look like <laughs> pretty cool let's keep going let's see what else we could find here sweet stuff I think we've seen enough of the forest and what's what lurks in here let's just Don't need that. Don't really care for that stuff. Look, there goes another mansion. So there's a lot of mansions in here. Oh, that's a big mansion. That's bigger than the one that I just saw. No, actually, that's the same size. Yep, now we're officially going to Dawn Hill. Because I saw that blood. Oh, now he runs to she. <laughs> Interesting. And we have a burning right there. Flaming zombies, I should say. And we have a uh, molted. So buildings and atmosphere and vibe is all the same. It's just open world. Yeah, no loading screen. It's just open world, man. This is really cool. Cool stuff. See, when when I'm entering, you could tell that it's um, taking you into a different block. And it, there's a slight little uh, shift that you can tell if if I right there there you go it kind of there you go again so that kind of it's kind of like I don't know if it's, it's not the frame rate it's it's entering into a different block sandbox and you can feel that little slight little twitch that there you go again there you go again and I don't know if that's like that doesn't really bother me but that might kind of bother some other people just because they people are really um but but hurt about smallest little things and this to me see there it goes again and and that doesn't really bother me i mean that it's hey dude it's open world i'm not gonna complain you got it irated if that's how you say it just keep walking. Just keep walking. So we know what lies within the forest. Don't really care for that now. Superior tires. Uh, no, no, I don't need that. Well, I'm hanging out with this this dude. I think he's just making his way around the whole entire. What is this? Yeah, the whole entire. Don't need no fuel. You can always buy fuel. Oh, he, he left the area. Hmm. So, I just saw a little glitch there again, too. I don't know what that was, but... What is this? Oh, it's a cell tower. Hmm. I, I swear, I see... I, I don't know if I'm seeing things, but... I feel like I see, like, a, a little small... Whenever I'm walking, I see something glitching at the bottom of my foot. It's like almost like the... I don't know if that's my computer or not, but... I could see, like... Below my foot, like the... There, there you go again. You know what? I'm definitely going to edit that and try to show you guys what I'm seeing. Because it's a really quick... It's just a quick little flash that you can see 
the bottom of the world. <laughs> Peanut butter. See? There he goes again. Like I said, that doesn't bother me, but it definitely might throw some people off. I'm here to just point out what's good and what's not good. There goes another cell tower. I feel like we're... There, there, there it goes again. What's on the bottom of my foot? It's like somebody... It's like a player's name or something. I don't know. I definitely will have to pause that when I'm editing this. Ah, dang it. Oh, did I just... Oh, look, I'm, I'm cutting the crow with my axe. That was funny. <laughs> like, I just touched the crow with my axe like this, and you could cut him. I didn't know that. Watch this. <clears throat> Let's see if I can cut him. Nope. <laughs> no, you, I swear, I know I did. I know I did. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I did. Travel to Dalbo. Oh, that's pretty cool, okay. Manage. You know, let me kill these stupid crows real quick. <laughs> cool stuff. How I can travel there. It's really cool. And it's closer to <laughs> the outpost. Thank you. <laughs> there it goes. Greywood outpost. Ooh. Well, that's funny. <laughs> Just right here in the outpost. Rare Beta 8000. Is that a new gun? I don't remember hearing this type of gun. I can't wait until admin like adds like the picture of the weapon. You know, like, like for example, if I was... Oh, wrong thing. If I was to go here... Hope, I don't know. I would like to see the weapons... I like icons. I don't know about you guys, but definitely love icons. Like, you know, paramedic stuff. Have like a little picture on top or something. That'd be cool. I think that'd be cool. Maybe in the future. Alright, you guys. So that was Death Frontier 2. New hot update. Open world. Um, if you guys, you know, got any comments and, you know, anything you guys would like to add... Uh, comment down below. What, what do you guys think about this? I think it's a really, really, really great update. I think it's a really uh, big jump, uh, big ballsy move that Admin did, and he succeeded. It was really good. It was really nice. There was there were some minor little bugs, but I don't I don't think it was anything too bothering. I mean, other than you know the mansions. That, you know, me, I'm just being picky just because, you know, interior designs. I just wish it was kind of more of a mansion kind of look to it instead of just big clustered, you know, furnitures and walls just kind of jam packed into one little area. But then again, eh, it doesn't really bother me. I'm just, like I said, being picky. Um, other than that, yeah, it was really good. I mean, open world had a slight little lag, which I will show you guys in the video, but, um, other than that, it was a really, really good update. Open world worked just fine to me. If you guys have any issues, let me know. Because I definitely didn't find any kind of issues. Only some slight little bugs. But other than that, it was really good. Good job to your admin. Keep up the good work. Um, I highly recommend this game. It's free to play. It's an open world. And it's still progressing. And, you know, that's the beauty of it. When you play a game like this, you get to see updates and you get to enjoy the kind of, you know, updates that is being implemented into this game. So definitely check it out. I will leave the link in, in the description down below. So it's, you know, it's Steam, uh, Death Frontier 2. Just check it out. And yeah, if you guys really enjoyed this video, let me know if you guys want to see more open world and more, you know of me exploring the outside world out there which I'm pretty sure I kind of knocked off all of it now we just we're just waiting for the bigger update which is the bosses and I think new weapons and stuff so um yeah thank you for watching and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time thank you for watching peace